welcome to the APA. I got in to the APA Academy because a coach got promoted from uh, from Academy into the main league, and I really do appreciate uh, allowing me in. So I do really uh, appreciate that. Our week one opponent is Jason or Dietite. His link will be down in the description below with all the other coaches. And uh, but let's just talk about his team really quickly. He has Zygarde, Infernape, Thundee Eye, Slope, uh, Slowbro, Savali, Metagross, Slurpuff, Tangela, Crustle, Weezing, and Mega Aerodactyl. Mega Aerodactyl, Zygarde, Infernape, and Thundee are all very, very scary to my team. And I will, and I will be really, really scared up until then. So basically, let's just jump right on into my team, and uh, we can talk about that a little bit. You should see it on screen now. And uh, I brought Mega Venusaur with Synthesis, Leap Seed, Sludge Bomb, and Hidden Power Ice. Um, this uh, this allows me to take uh, any hit from Infernape and be able to synthesis it off and be really, really fine. Um, and uh, Venusaur is just a main check is for... Um, for um, Infernape, in case he's like choice spec Slendy or something, I can always switch into that as well. It's just he has he can't click, um, he can't click um, uh, Psychic, or I am uh, very very bad. After that is Victini with with his Blue Flare, Glaciate, Thunderbolt, and Substitute. Uh, this set is allowed to outspeed an Adamant Zygarde with enough speed where he is max Adamant. Wait. No, no, no. Yeah, it's Max Adamant Zygarde. Yeah, that's the, the set I uh, I did. I was thinking about doing a little bit more bulky, maybe, to uh, do it, but it wasn't really worth the risk in case he wanted to be Max Max Zygarde. Um, after that, uh, I have Lycanroc Dusk with a uh, Drill Run, um, uh, St Stone Edge, Acel Rock, and Thunder Fang. I probably should have Z Thunder Fang on this thing, but. This, uh, depending on how much investment he has in Slowbro, it's not going to do a whole lot. So uh, there's that. And after that, I have uh, Hank Tank Tank the Swampert, which is Rest, Ice Beam, Whirlpool, and Toxic. Uh, this is allows me to um, allows me to uh, trap uh, tr uh, trap something like uh, or, um, like Zygarde or uh, Aerodactyl in with a uh, Swampert and I'd be able to weaken it down with Ice Beam and Toxic damage. But it, it probably won't work because most of the time he's going to switch out with Aerodactyl. It's just in case I need it and he was trying to over predict. Uh, I thought it was a fun set. It might work. It probably won't but it might. And then uh, Dindin Mushi which is my SL Gore which is Bug Buzz, Hidden Power Ice, U-Turn, and Water Shuriken. And I am running the choice specs. And my final mon is my uh, counter to Thundee is Drampa with Ice Beam, Roost, uh, Draco Meter, and Toxic with the Berserk. At plus one, I am guaranteed uh, able to kill uh, Thundee with uh, Ice Beam. So that's all great and good. So let's just get right on into the right on into the match. So I end up leading Venusaur because I really need this Mega off so I can take on hits from Infernape because Infernape deals with uh, Hank Tank Tank really really well if he's special or just has a special move in general so I do have to be very worried about that so at this point he brings out Savali there's three options it can be water flying or dragon and I cannot tell to save my life at first it looks a lot like water it has a pretty similar um, pretty similar uh, color to water. I didn't think it was dragon because I thought it was too light and it wasn't and I thought it wasn't flying because it was too dark It, it wasn't dark enough. So uh, he ends up I, I, I end up revealing I'm faster than Savali I wanted to be faster than this thing in case I need to get a synthesis off or get a I, I don't know um, be able to kill it or something so um, I end up throwing leech seed not thinking of parting shot and he does just parting shot right out so that reveals he's probably not flying which I was I still wasn't thinking I thought he might switch out but at, at that point uh, he does go uh, Thundee I do go into my counter which is Drampa I guarantee live no matter what except for a plus two focus blast I just kind of have to hope he does not have plus two focus blast Z move 
actually he does have to have z move to kill me with plus two focus blast he does reveal the z move which is fine and he uh shows off gigavolt havoc and i will end up living this gigavolt havoc pretty pretty well and uh, be able to uh, kill it off with ice beam so this is very very nice on my part and um other one of the one of the major threats does go down to a uh, uh to a dragon so that's very very nice this ice beam will take it out of course and uh he will end up going out into infernape next so i i was thinking a while because i want to get in, in front of this a little bit i was thinking a while all right what if i just stay in i was so close to just staying in here because uh maybe i just wanted to I, I was thinking maybe just sacking it or something because if infernape does not click close combat i would have lived that uh, vacuum wave because i was uh Choppleberry. and then two threats would have been down right then and there but it ended up not working out because i did end up switching out into venusaur and uh the amount and then he clicks uh clicks uh vacuum wave does like 20 percent to venusaur and then he clicks u-turn out on uh, out into the uh, Savali. Uh, at this point, I was thinking it was HP flying at that point because I, w I was very unsure of what the Savali was. I had no idea because I, I, I just don't know the Savali colors well enough to determine what it was. And I was going off of pictures and I still couldn't really tell. Uh, he does end up just parting shot on my Lycan Rock switch. And at this point, I thought it was a flying type. So like like a flying move isn't going to do a whole lot to uh, to Lycan Rock, but uh, he does end up just parting shotting. So uh, that that's all right. Um, I I do stay uh, I do switch out on the slow bro, and um, after that I do go out into Drampa because uh, I was either thinking about sacking it or just not doing a whole lot of damage to it. Uh, and at this point I should just be roosting and roosting and roosting on the slow bro getting at like maybe like plus one plus two uh with the with the uh, uh with the berserk um and uh possibly you know just doing a lot of damage i definitely should have roosted this turn instead of clicking draco just to get me a little bit more hp because i knew i know this future site is going to hit me that next turn so that that's still unfortunate, but this crit was really really nice. I was able to bring Slowbro really uh, bring him down really really low, uh, but he does end up taking me out with um, the uh, Future Sight plus um, Psy Shock, and that will end up killing Snoop Dogg here. So um, uh, Snoop Dogg did do his job. He did kill the Thundee, which was very nice. But uh, he could have done so much more if I allowed him to. Uh, but I do go out into Victini because this is the only thing on my team that. Um, that I want in versus a uh, slow bro at that time. I do click up the click sub because I didn't think he was staying in at all. And uh, the Savali was a pretty good play. I was still confused on what type it was. Uh, I still thought it was like flying at this point because I clicked Lacia and it was super effective. So I, I still didn't know what it was until until uh, he uh, breaks my sub, real realizing that it is Savali Dragon, and um, I. Oh no, I realized it was the Valley Dragon once I seen that uh, that uh, blue flare wasn't doing it wasn't super effective. If I would have clicked blue flare there, uh, burned it possibly with uh, the twenty percent, I probably would have been able to keep the sub and then glaciated that next turn or e or at least just been able to sub up on this thing possibly. But I wasn't going to take the risk after the sub was already broken. So uh, after that, I do go out into Venusaur because I'm realizing it's not a it's not a uh, flying type, so I don't have to be super worried of that. But he does do a pretty decent play here in going out into uh, Silent P, the Aerodactyl. And I have nothing for this, really, except for Swampert, actually. Swampert is my main switch in. And, uh, and after Swampert, I, I don't have much for this thing. So I have to be very, very careful with my plays and how I handle Swampert versus the Aerodactyl. I have to have enough HP to be able to take a couple of hits and also possibly Zygarde if needed. I do have rest on this thing, but it's, it's that rest is not a uh, guarantee heal, not at all, but it's definitely something I can uh, think of. I do end up going for the Toxic here 
uh, predicting the slow bro or just something else to come in. He didn't have anything that I didn't really want to toxic. And even if I just toxic the Aerodactyl, I was perfectly fine with that. It, it didn't hurt me too much to uh, do that at all. After that, he uh, a slow bro is taking a little bit of chip from toxic. And I will end up switching out into my Venusaur, most uh, my Dinden Moshi, trying to uh, uh, get, uh, try, trying to. Uh, I, I've been very reactionary this game. That's what I'm trying to say. And hopefully, I can. I, I need to get the momentum uh, in my in my shift. The parting shot was a very, you know, having a slow parting shot with a uh, with a uh, Savali was a very beneficial. And um, I, I just was very under prep for that. I do end up going for the bug buzz because I just didn't have a switch in. I wasn't honestly thinking that he would switch out, uh, and I'm still very, very reactionary. Uh, I should not have went into Hank Tank Tank here. I should not have went into Hank Tank Tank here. Uh, because of that, I, I do not have a switch in into Aerodactyl anymore because Aerial Ace plus a Future Sight will kill me. I'm not sure if I just forgot about the Future Sight or what, but um, I do lose my uh, Hank Tank Tank here to the Aerodactyl. So that's very unfortunate, and uh, I will end up losing this um, this mon. And I do have a slight chance. I do have to uh, be very very cautious here. I do end up going into uh, Lycan Rock just in case I want to uh, want to scare him out with something. He might not be able to do something to me. Maybe he doesn't have Earthquake or something. But he ends up going Zygarde here, and uh, and I do uh, end up missing the Stone Edge right here. Which is very unfortunate. It, it doesn't necessarily matter, but it was it was very unfortunate because I don't have a switch in into Zygarde at the moment. So anything he goes out, in, anything he goes into, uh, or anything he does to me, like uh, uh, I can't talk. I'm sorry, but anything he does with Zygarde was pretty much fine. I do have to uh, hide this actually because I don't want to deal with this. Uh, here, no. Uh, in anyways, I'm gonna have to uh, hide this in post because I know it, it they will probably copyright claim me. So I, I do end up going uh, like in Rocky and Z. So uh, that was that was always fun to see, and you don't get to see it a lot, and you probably won't actually get to see it in this video. But uh, I do do I, I do do about thirty percent to Zygarde, and uh, I do bring him in range of uh, Glaciate unless he's just in cr crazy crazy bulky. But I am modest because I was predicting him to be adamant Zygarde, which he was. And um, uh, if he wasn't, I did probably lose that right there because I didn't have anything else for Zygarde. And uh, Victini will pick up a kill here, which is nice. Uh, I'm not getting 6 0 at all. I get two kills this game. And, um, and uh, we're not technically out of this yet, but I do have to hope for some major hacks here. Uh, which I'm doing right here. If um, if he misses the Stone Edge, I uh, would have been able to m most likely kill with Glaciate, or at least bring him bring his speed down where I would have been able to kill him too. So um, there's that. I do go out into Dindin Mushi this turn, and uh, I probably sh I probably should have uh, predicted the switch, but I was not really wanting to deal with an Aerodactyl in front of me. I am just enough speed to outspeed Adamant. Uh, Aerodactyl, so I should outspeed this, I believe, depending on like how much speed he has in, and I was uh, choice specs as well. So if I would have uh, clicked Bug Buzz there, uh, predicting the switch, which I just couldn't, I was always in the back foot 24/7, and uh, because of this, uh, uh, because of the Savali, he, he he did a great job with the Savali. I really don't know how to predict Savalis, honestly. And that's something I need to work on and be able to deal with Savali a lot more effectively because I, I, I lost this game because of the parting shot shot uh, Savali and uh, just the momentum that um, Diatite had. And uh, spoiler, I, I did end up losing if I haven't mentioned that enough. Uh, this Aerodactyl will end up cleaning the last couple of kills because uh, Venusaur couldn't do anything to it. And uh, if he wasn't adamant because I thought he might be jolly just so... Um, a Selgor would uh, not would not outspeed, but he he ended up showing adamant, and he is a two eight KO with Venusaur. If it was Jolly, I would have been able to live to and possibly possibly been able to sustain that next turn. But uh, that's showing he's adamant, so I do know that Dindin Mushi most likely does outspeed, and he does. 
which um, this HP Ice is going to do quite a bit to it, but not end up killing, and I will end up losing 4-0 versus Dietite. Honestly, great game to you, Dietite. I, uh, hopefully I get to play you either in playoffs or in another league and I'll be able to uh, yeah, try and uh, get our record back to even. Wait, no, uh, back to uh, what? Two, uh, we're currently 2-0. and oh. I think you beat me. No, it's 3-0. and oh. You won three games. I haven't won any. And hopefully next time we battle, I will be able to pull out a win versus you. And anyways, that is my week. Seven game of the APA. Next week we are facing off versus... Uh, Root and his uh, New Jersey Brobat. So look forward to that, and I'll see you guys next week whenever we face off versus Root. Later, guys.